this lesson, I'm gonna show you guys how I uh, airbrushed the stripes on her and how we did her skin, made it translucent. I'm gonna show you how I detail painted her face and the freckles and her eyes. We're gonna give you a couple techniques with her hair and uh, hopefully you can learn something from it and uh, it'll help you advance as an artist. You're a hired gun. It's your job is to, to come in and paint this thing the best that you can. Being able to see where it's wrong, I think that's another thing that you can't really teach. You just kind of have to look at it and figure out why doesn't this look right. That's a, I think that's an aspect of what we do. You can look at something and know instantly what's wrong with it. I think that's generally what people call the artist's eye. You know why it looks bad or wrong or right. That's kind of what everybody's looking for. I think Stan's statement about that we would be the Renaissance artists of the day is probably, I think it's true from the aspect that, you know, who, who did the Renaissance people go to and why? And they went to the church because they had money. And all artists want to survive and make money doing what they do. So that's, and I think today, that that's probably the case. The film industry, video game industry, that's where a lot of the money is. I also think in that environment, it allows that artist to grow and to, to do what he's gonna do. And you're gonna, anytime you're working on anything, you're gonna, you're gonna learn things from that and you're gonna grow as an artist. With basically the same technique as her hair, I, I dry brushed everything over it with the browns and then I went and I picked out the individual wood colors using the appropriate paints according to the reference that we had from Weta. It's a great technique. The other thing about it is you can also, once you have it on, you can take clean naphtha on a rag and you can tap it, you know, wipe off what you don't want to be on there because the oil paint doesn't dry immediately. It takes, it takes a few hours for it to completely dry. Have fun, don't lose your love of this stuff. You gotta figure out how to, for me, I'm always trying to figure out where that came from as a kid. How did I always feel that cool interest, you know? And it's hard when you're doing it all the time. It really is tricky, but don't lose that. Don't, don't stop being a kid, it's an important thing.